Ian Blackford's possession is untenable. His actions are completely unacceptable. He cannot remain as leader of the SNP group at Westminster, and either he should resign or Nicola Sturgeon should step in and make the right judgment call here. Uh, why should he resign, though? He, he's, he's backing one of his MPs, isn't he? Well, as we've heard through the leaked voice clips, um, SNP MPs under um, Ian Blackford's leadership have backed the perpetrator over the victim. And, you know, this is after Ian Blackford writing to all SNP staff back in March after Patrick Brady stood down to um, reassure SNP staff members that a zero tolerance approach um, would be, um, would to an appropriate uh, behaviour would, um, would be provided. And this promise is clearly being broken. Uh, it may well be broken, but it, it feels that this is kind of... I mean, has the Conservative Party really got the, the, the victims' concerns at heart here, or is, it, it, are you guys just playing politics? Absolutely not. You know, I, I've worked in politics myself. I've been a staff member myself. You know, that the importance um, of looking after um, staff members should be at the heart um, of every MSP, every MP, every elected member. And it's quite clear that the SNP have failed to look after their staff on, on this occasion. Um, it's not about the necessarily the, the, the individual incident. It is the manner in which the SNP have conducted themselves throughout the full process. Well, you could say that. I mean, the problem is we could all turn around and say, well, let's have a look at the Owen Paterson affair, where he obviously broke the rules, was sanctioned by Parliament, and your leader tried to change the rules to allow him to 